Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Doors Paradox. Now, this is a really cool sort of puzzle escape room game about following a cat through different doors and trying to unlock them. Previously, we played the demo version, so this is the full version, and like, there's so many levels. So there's three different chapters. Each one has 18 different levels. Uh, so I feel like give myself a little bit of a challenge because I have played this before. Uh, we'll start off on chapter two, which is called Origins, quite ironically, and let's have a go at the passage. So here is our first door that we need to try and get into. And basically the game is we've got to try and unlock this door. Now this door has like, I mean, it's got it's got wings. Maybe it's sponsored by Red Bull. Uh, at the front down here, the first thing I'm noticing, it's it's the Mona Lisa. Um, oh, and it's, it's, it's a fake. We can peel that off. So let's see what's behind there. There's a gear. So we've now got a gear in our inventory. Very handy. Uh, down in the bottom left, there is a desk with like a, a feather pen. Oh, I just... <laughs> <laughs> Just launched that off the table. Don't care about that. Uh, we found a scroll from the cat. So the cat tells us having more does not stop you from wanting more and more. Uh, definitely relatable. I thought like once once I had a triangle, I wouldn't want more triangles, but then I just want another one. Then I want to stick them together and make a truss. And then I got trusses of trusses and blah. Uh, we've also got this book, which I'm just about to open. And oh, and inside the book, look what I found. It's a radiator key. No, it's a winding key. Uh, also, we can open this drawer and we found another key. We've got all the keys. So we'll zoom back out and perhaps we'll go, I think we'll go look around the back and see what we've got around here. So bottom left. What is that? Some sort of... Oh, I've, just, I've just launched it off. <laughs> I feel like this is the game about launching things off this table thing. Uh, we found a gem. So gems are like... They're hidden throughout every single level. And um, I've actually looked now in the main game. If you if you find them all within a chapter, you get a bonus level unlocked for that chapter. So that's quite cool. Uh, down here, we have uh, some sort of device. It looks like a lever arm, but it's sort of... It's held down by this red thing. So I assume if I put my gear on there, I can give that a spin. And did you see that's now moved? Uh, which means I can now pull that. And then that flaps the wings. Oh, and that's bringing up a lift thing with a mannequin in it. Right, so if we zoom into this, I'm pretty sure we can use our other key, right? So key goes in there. Nice. Give it give it a spin. And then we can open that. And then we have a doll. Okay. So now I'll zoom out again. What do we do with a doll? Um, let's well, let's actually zoom in on the door. Because there is a catch there. Can you see that? Let's open the catch and open that. Oh, there you go. I reckon I reckon the doll goes in there. <laughs> Using my engineering instincts. So we just gotta Well, you're the wrong shape. If we perhaps if we wind you up with that, we can make your Yeah, we can raise your arms. There we go. Now the doll fits in, and that is unlocking the door, I imagine. If we give that a twist. Yes, the door is unlocked. And what is inside the door, you might ask? Well, it's today's sponsor. Ridge wallet. So this is my old wallet. It's absolutely huge. However, this is the Ridge wallet, which takes up so much less pocket space while still being able to hold 12 cards and cash. There's over 30 colors and styles, including these that I have here. I've also got the carbon key case, which is a silent way to carry keys. No more key rattling, which has room for even oversized keys like this one. Yes, this is actually my personal front door key. <laughs> So if you head to ridge.com forward slash RCE, you get up to 40% off until December the 22nd. That's ridge.com forward slash RCE. So thanks to Ridge for sponsoring, but let's get back to today's video. And in case you were wondering what was actually inside the door, let's have a look inside. There's a cat running away from us and it actually leads to the next door. Now this one is called Mystery Music. Uh, so, ooh, ooh, look, look, look at the top. It's like, it's like the top of a cello or something. These, oh, like these are like tuning pegs. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. I'm not sure what I'm doing there. Let's, let's back out a bit. Uh, down there, I can see a gem. So we'll take the gem and we've also taken the handle as well. Over there, I don't know if the hand, no, the handle doesn't go in that. Um, oh, looking at that orb, can you see? Okay, okay, I've just opened it. I was going to say, can you see? That one looks different to the one over th this side. Because uh, inside this one, there's a there's a hooky thing, a handle. And I reckon we zoom back into that because this has got a blue bit there. That is going to fit in. Yes. And so now we can pull that open. Luminel, what is this? What is this? Okay, get that handle in there, I reckon. No, maybe not. Okay, I think then we've probably got to make, we've got to make like a circuit. So if I do that, that's all linked, but it doesn't link to this middle bit. Yeah, but that sort of does. I don't know if that will work. I'm guessing we probably need to work out how to fire that on first. So let's head over this side. Oh, it's an organ. It's a church organ. So let's zoom in. I think we're going to take the screwdriver, right? So give me that. Yep, screwdriver. And then can I unscrew those? Yes, we can. So there's one gone. And there's the other one gone, which means behind the panel, there's... Well, I'm not sure what that is. 
I assume it's something we've got to put in. Let's get rid of these notes. Damn organ players should learn to play by heart, not read music. Um, and up here, we've got we've got some music. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. We're, we've got, we've got like switches. Are they like the foot switches that like only professionals know how they work? No, I do actually know how they work, by the way. I think one, one is like a long note and the other one's like a dampener, like a short note. Um, I've never seen six pedals before, so not sure how these are going to work. I assume, do I just need to like copy this pattern? to do that. So you can see these down here, they now match that perfectly. Can we play this at all? No, we can't. Oh, I'll tell you what though, if we head up here, I think that's where the handle goes. Perhaps we need to wind this thing up first so it plays music for us. All right, there we go, there you go. Oh, it's playing, it's playing. Oh, what are these? What are these opening? Okay, so on the left, we've got, got like a slider. No idea what that does. I feel like we need something to go in the middle there, don't you? We're back up the top. I'm wondering, is this like a, like a matchy thing? So are any icons the same? Yeah, that one and that one, they are the same. Okay, that one and I think it was that one? Yeah. Oh, we're, we're doing all right. That one and... Oh, that was a complete guess. Okay. <laughs> I could actually do this first time. Right. I honestly can't remember what way round they were. That one and... I have a feeling it's either that one or that one. So we'll do this the way that every engineer makes a decision where it's 50-50. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch an architect by its toe. If it bites, let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, balls. Okay. So those two are done. Now the front bit. Oh, that's the that's the music bit. So it's one of those cylinders that has like little bits poking out and that plays the tune. Oh, a musical cylinder. Wow, I know technical terms apparently. So background here, zoom into that bit, shove the cylinder in there. And then we slide that, making music. We're getting greens, we're getting greens. Nice. So now out the side is that. That looks like a, yeah, I was gonna say, it looks like a safe vault thing. So give that a spin. The back is dropping. Oh, it's all folding away. Oh, it's all folding away. And now flaps that okay so let's zoom in here we've got another scroll so that's just some more katagamba don't i'd just ignore that if i was you yeah, and then we've got a load of gears so we can move them out the way and it's revealed a little ballerina perhaps go back around the front oh is that what goes in this pink bit yes ballerina is in oh it's 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 going around the thing. Oh, so it's going to end up in the middle, which is, I think, is where I want it to, right? So it's in the middle now. And, oh, it's disappearing. And we've unlocked the door. So let's get into it. And let's follow the cat. Come here, cat. So this level is called the Eye of Time. I assume because... It, well, actually, no, that's... I was about to say, I assume because it's eye-shaped. But, I mean, that's more like a, a teardrop shape. Oh, that is a fancy clock. Look at that. Very fancy. Right. Okay. What have we What have we got going on? Well, down there, I see something I can probably pick up. It's a gear. Uh, oh, here. Look, I found a flap. Oh, and there's a gem. We'll take the gem. So then around the other side, I assume that is also a flap. Open up. Yep. We got another gem. We got more Katagander. Let's ignore that. Uh, down the front is are they flat? Oh, they are. Look, I can slide those back. And then we've got another gear to pick up. All right. So meanwhile, anything around the back? Yeah, here we go. Down there, I reckon that's where another gear goes. So we'll shove that in. And that round the outside. Ooh, that's... Ooh, ooh, ooh. look, look. It's open this. It's like we've, we've got like a makeup set or something. What is going on here? What is that? All right. So blue button brings that forward and backwards. And then what does... Oh, boosh. <laughs> boosh. <laughs> <laughs> boosh. Okay, okay, so I got it. I just got to boosh, boosh, and then boosh all of them. Oh, I've just shot them all. Oh, then that comes up. And then do I... Oh, it's a handle. I've got a handle now. Man, that was very, very random and unexpected. What have we got over here? We've got like got like a load of bits and bobs. I can, I can spin this around. I'm not sure why I want to at the moment. The right, question is, where do you think this handle goes? And what is that on top? Oh, that's probably where the handle goes, right? <laughs> Yep, in you go. All right, okay, so we'll twist that. Oh, look at this. That was a decent bit of engineering, that. Look, it's like a big old horizontal windmill. So that is now spinning on top, which I assume is like powering something. So I can slide this. So that's making the clock to... Oh, no, what is happening? What is happening? It's all gone blue. It's all gone blue. Oh, are we going back in time? I think we're going back in time. Everything that's broken is being fixed. What is going on? Okay, well, that was weird. We now have a mechanism part. And then if we head back around this side, we have the, it's like a mirror thing. And I'm guessing the reason I want to, I want to slide this is so I can read what the pattern is, right? I mean, it sort of looks like a knockoff of a PlayStation controller layout. The question is, where do I enter that? I mean, does the mechanism go in the back here? Is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. So that goes in there. Aha. Okay. We've got the pattern. So does this 
this. If I shove that out there and... Okay, so I can spin all these around. Okay, got it. Got it. So it's circle down the bottom. So if I do that, then X on the top. So you basically do a bit of that. Then I just need to swap triangle and square because they go the opposite way round. Beautiful. Done it. I think we're unlocked. We're on to the next one. Let's get this door open. Not going to lie. That's a pretty architect made door. Like you're going to trip over that trying to get through. That's all I'm saying. But it's led us to the next level, which <laughs> it sort of looks like. Is anyone else seeing that or is that just me? I'm not even seeing a strong shape this time. Well, I sort of am seeing one up there. But uh, I'm imagining that on like the front of like a train, like Thomas the Tank Engine. But he's like, he's like a tank engine sponsored by the Pringles guy. Because he's got the tash. He's got sort of the Pringles eyes. <laughs> right. Anyway, we're going to up there. Because look, there's, open that up. We've got a gem. We've got the first gem. Uh, bottom left, we've got number 31. Oh, look under there. We've got some, some bits and bobs as well as more Katagander. Well, I think the Katagander has turned into uh, cat threats right now. So we'll ignore that. I'll get Paddy on the case later. Uh, bottom right, we've got some coal. Makes a nice Christmas present sometimes. Right, and then we'll have a look around the back. So there's sort of, there's a shovel there. Oh, I've got the shovel. Nice. Down the bottom, there's a block of wood. So get rid of that. Open that up for a gem. Open the other one up for whatever that is. Oh, a tool. Who'd have thought that my editor was in there? <laughs> oh, I could have get slaughtered for that by him. All right. So then bottom left, we have this which we can pull. Oh, it brings that up, but it went back down. Okay, I imagine we need to do that a bit later. Let's go up to there. We got like Thor's hammer. Okay, just just hammer. It's not Thor's. Just just a normal bog standard hammer. Are these anything? Can I... Oh, can I use the tool to open them? Look, it looks like a... Sort of like an inverse screwdriver, like a wrench sort of thing. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Give that a twist, Matt. Give that a twist. We've got whatever that is. A drive shaft. Yes, we got our first shaft. And then we'll use the tool to open this one as well. So now we've got another drive shaft. And um, I sort of recognize that front one. Yeah, I think the metal one goes like in that bit. So if we zoom in and shove it there. There we go. That is that done. Then we just need a red one. Yeah, we'll zoom into these. Oh, look, we got the we got these patterns, which I know we know about because we saw them down here. So I guess the question is, what are we going to hammer? I sort of perhaps whilst that comes up, can I do anything? No. Okay. Well, the only other thing I can think of is we grab the coal and use the shovel somehow. So we've got We've got coal now. I feel like it's gonna go. It's gonna go in there, right? Like we need to. We need to demustache this man. But oh, look! I can knock it out with a hammer. Boosh. So I assume we'll be able to open that in a bit. I feel like this drive shaft. It's got to go up the top, right? Does coal go in there? No, it doesn't. I mean, perhaps this will like do something now. The front, like not busted. Oh, it's getting stuck on something. Oh, I've just realised I can spin this. Okay, okay. Let's let's find out the pattern then. Now this X goes on the blue, but like the blue's sort of locked. I can't do anything. Same with the pink. The only one that's grey is that one. So I can slide that over to there and then that works up there. So do I then temporarily put that there? Temporarily put that there? And then can I like reverse order these? So if I grab that and that and then that, I can shove that one on top of there which makes blue that so I can put the right one on blue. And then I think the other two, they're actually the right colours. Yeah, so that's unlocked. So that bolt is going to get twisted down or... Nope, we're up. We're open. Right, shove the coal in there. I know all about coal. That has gone in. We've shut that back up. Oh, and now this wheel is turning. So let's pull that down. Oh, look at the steam. Look at the steam. Oh, man, look at that. Look at that. We've got like a double train wheel going on. So now if we zoom up here, that's where we put the drive shaft. It seems dangerous to do this while it's moving, by the way. Wouldn't recommend, but um, do as I say, not as I do, I guess. Now everything is linked together and it's lifted up this lock. And we can open up Thomas Tank Engine face <laughs> and we're going inside his head oh it's horrible right and we're on to our next door now this one <laughs> this one looks a bit complicated i'm not gonna lie uh, so first off i'm sort of i'm seeing this bottle down here is that something i can take yeah gas bottle yeah there's also a sneaky gem behind it we'll have that over on the left we've got a scroll with more threats from a cat. That's why I'm a dog person. And this thing, which is a drive shaft. So many shafts in this game. Oh, at the bottom, that sort of that looks like a conveyor belt to me. With like something above it. Yeah, on this side, we've got... Oh, is that like... I think that's like a flint. So that's making a spark. So I'm guessing if we follow that back, that's going to... Oh, no, no, look. The, the gas bottle goes in there. So shove that in. Turn the gas on by doing that. Look, did you see the gas go down into there? 
So if we light that, that will sort of... That'll make flames come out of there. Do I want to do that yet? Let's have a little explore first. So we've got that, which... Ooh, it's just opened that. Is that where our drive shaft goes? Yes, it is. So now close it back up. All right, that is now driving. That's the conveyor belt. So conveyor belt is moving. Uh, next up, what's going on with this crane? All right, you've got a side panel. Open that up. So something's got to go inside the crane. Uh, anything... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look what I found in the middle. Strongest shape. I think that's actually... Is that something we've got to... Yeah, we've got to stroke that shaft. That's what she said. Oh, and we've opened up a flap. So we've got a cheeky blue gem in there. We'll have some of you. Thank you. And it looks like we have an on button. So if we flip that down... Oh, that is now stomping at the bottom. Okay. Um, right up the top is this. Is that another flap? Yes, it is. There you go. That's the fuse. So that goes inside the crane thing down here. So shove that in. Look, here we go. Here we go. So now that's putting on like a lump of metal, I guess. So that's probably what we want to like melt. So if we head over to the flint, light her up. Now we've got flames going down there, which means as they get put on, perhaps they get melted. Yeah, look at that. Look at it. It's like liquid metal. Then round here, that is now stomping there. Them, which means, can I pick that up? Yes, we've got a metal shape. So, around the back here, if we zoom into that, that is where the metal shape goes. Oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Oh, God. Oh, goodness. Okay, so, looks like we can we can move various bits of pipe. So, let's get all the colors we know first. So, there's the two pink ones. Yeah, it looks like we want green next. So, we do the bottom two, and then, oh, then we just do the middle one, and then that one. That's the green sorted. And then, to do the blues, we literally just do that. Oh, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. And now there is this. So we give that a spin. And is that the door open? Yes, it is. All right, let's get inside and get on to the next level. All right, so this level is called Toxic Tails. I imagine because we have some radioactive goo down here. Let's grab the tool. Um, oh, man, look at look at that. That looks pretty complicated. Not going to touch that yet, I don't think. We've got what's down here lap we can't open yet uh, oh look we've got some some radioactive clothing so let's open the pocket and what's in there it's a key there's also yes safety first a hard hat oh and under the hard hat is a gem always check under your hard hat if you lose something oh, we've also got golden boots i don't i don't i don't like them i just throwing them off the table down there an old game boy a mask i don't know why i'm throwing everything on the floor uh, is this like a a smelty pot thing oh a a covet. I've never heard of a covet before. Now, around the back, nuclear nightmare is here. Nuke crisis, blah, blah, blah. Let's get rid of those. We don't care about those. Right, radioactive plus toxic equals blob. Quick mess. Uh, first off, where do my keys go? So, yeah, there you go. There's a padlock. So, shove the key in that. Give that a twist. We can pull that out. That comes down. Get down. Open the flap. We've got all sorts of goodies in here. We've got a gem. We've got more cat hate mail. And then we've got that, a handle. So around the back, I see in pink there. So I'm guessing that's where the handle goes. Yep, shove that in and then slide that down. That gives us, hello there, another handle which we can spin. And that's open that which allows us access to in there. Okay, so I feel like we got to do something with this, right? So, oh, oh, I can slide that off. Oh, so then I use the covet, right, to uh, scoop some of that. Yes, we have a full covet. Okay, so we go back around here, and I assume we pour it in. Yep, okay, we're pouring Okay, we're pouring that quite a lot. That's a bit more than I probably would have put in. Right, anyway, I think we've got to get the nuclear thing out of there. So let's try and crack this code. Uh, so it looks like we can move these <laughs> i don't know if i want to oh oh i've just noticed as i move these like from one side to the other that number changes so that's 200 when it goes into the red that's 170 that's 140 all the way in is 130 interesting not really sure what that affects but um i guess let's just fill everything in so that goes there you can shove that one all the way down so 70 left. I mean, there's sort of room for all of them. If I shove that one there, that's 40. So are they worth 10 each? Yeah, okay. So I think I'm just moving all of these down into the places so that the red is all covered. There you go. There's a zero. So now, oh, now it's not radioactive. So now we can use this to open it up, I guess. So we can slide this until we've got a double on all of them. There we go. So then we slide that all the way down. And then that is opening. There's like a magical crystal thing. So we'll grab that with the old tool. It's a reactor core. Then I assume we plop it in there. This... <laughs> 
This seems a bit sketch to me, not gonna lie. But that's now in, so we can shove that in, close the door up. And there you go, there is the goo coming out, just like it said it would. Oh, and it's like melted a hole through the door. Okay, I feel like I didn't really solve this door. I just broke my way into it. Anyway, there's the cat. Get back here, silly cat. Right, so now we found ourselves in front of the bank vault. Look at this thing. Oh, goodness. There's like cameras and lasers and all sorts on this. All right, I want... Can I get like under this carpet while I'm here? Will that set the thing off? No, nope, we've got that. We've also got a gem collected. Decent. So for now, let's have a look. We've got a code there. I don't know how we're going to unlock that if I'm honest. We've got, oh look, we've got gold. We've got gold. I'm just launching gold. Screw gold. I want more threats from cats. Um, So I assume in the other side, can I, yeah, let's get rid of all of these. Aha, we found another fuse. We've got two fuses. Where do they go? Does one go like in the top there? No, they don't. All right, well, let's have a look at this. Okay, five, six. Seven. Are we watching like the key being entered? Five, seven, two. Okay, so that's because there's cameras pointing on that thing. So if I come down here and I do five, seven, two. Oh, there's a, there's a different camera angle. Okay, so the other camera, G, S, P. So gray still plays. Okay, so now I think that's where the two fuses go. So one in there, one in there. And now this is all lit up. That sort of looks like a skull, like his two eyes and then his teeth there, doesn't it? All right, so what do these but Oh god, okay, so they twist those. So oh, I think I've just got to get the green ones to end up down down there, right? So if I do, then I've just got to get a green down, move that side down move that side up so now the green's gone down there and then keep moving that till there's yeah okay i've got it i got it so literally just do that all right easy easy crack that in no time and on the back we can turn off all the security i think yes the lasers are powering down yeah, which means can we now open yeah we can now open these oh there's a gem we got a gem okay nice let's see what's in the next load so nothing in there nothing in there Ooh, something. A card. Anything in the next one? Nope. All right, I think that's all of them done. So down there, is that like a card reader? So if we give that a swipe. Ooh, no. No, I don't know what that is. Perhaps a keyhole. I mean, oh, that, I think the card could go in that bit, right? Yes, card goes in there. That opens up. That gives us a key. And the key's got to go in that, right? I mean, it's, it's a keyhole. That's what, that's where keys go. Oh, we got cash. Don't want cash. We want this. A handle. Yes, where the frig does a handle go? What? Where does a handle go? I need to find something to screw. Can anyone help me find something to screw? I bet Lockpick Lawyer would like smash this. I have no... What am I meant to do? I'm I'm stumped. I mean, the only thing I can zoom in on is this. I mean, can, oh, I can I can bloody... Oh, I can spin it. I've, I've moved it. Oh, now I can move an inner ball. Oh, there's like balls within balls. Ballception. And there's another ball there. So rotate that to there. Another ball inside there. There we go. There we go. So you go in that. Give you a spin. And that is the safe unlocked. Or is it? No, it isn't. It isn't. So I think I gotta press these. I've just gotta keep it in the green, I guess. So I just gotta press this until they all they all like go go in. Okay, so that's all the greens done. We just gotta do the blues. And the blues, that has a smaller area. So it could be a bit tricky, but let's head over to there. Easy. Easy, mate. I can do this with my eyes shut. I'm gonna shut my eyes. I literally got my eyes shut. Am I doing it? Sounds like I'm doing it. Oh, I didn't do it. I failed. <laughs> okay, I'll do it with my eyes open. I think we've just about smashed it, though. There we go. It's open. It's open. What was in the vault that we were protecting all this time? It was a cat. A blooming cat. Um, oh, and actually a path to the next level. But if you want to see that, that's going to be in the next video. So boost the like button. Let me know in the comments that you want to see more of this game. Uh, very intriguing. It's very pretty. Um, if a little easy, perhaps. I mean, there is a third level, which the devs have assured me is actually really hard and will require full-on engineering skills. But there's only one way to find out, I guess. Alternatively, I could stream this game. So if you're a Twitch viewer, let me know in the comments if you want to see me stream this rather than video it. Um, either way, though, I'm quite intrigued to play some more. So I'll say peace, love, and killer cats. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!